Hi everybody, this is Erica. How's everybody doing today? I can't believe it's already November. Time goes so quick this year. Um, today we are going to check out this amazing resale home in Henderson. This home is listed at $1,125,000. I want to say thank you to Cindy who allowed me to film the entire house and I am excited to share this amazing property tour with you. You're not going to find this type of floor plan elsewhere. They did open this community back in 2018. The name of the community was Aurora's Edge. There are a total of 31 homes in this community and I remember visiting here when there was nothing. So it is amazing feeling when you come back and see all these resale homes. This home is 3,188 square feet. The main house is 2,801 square feet and the casita is about 387 square feet. This house will be considered as a next generation home since there's a separate casita, there's walk-in closet, also en suite bathroom. There is a sliding door toward the courtyard. Also the main house has a sliding doors uh, facing the courtyard. So this area will be really useful, especially when you throw a party, you can leave the both sliding doors open and you can connect the entire outdoor and indoor space this casita has a living room and a bedroom this type of detached casita definitely add more value to your home so if you have a chance to build a home with this option i highly recommend to add that to your property there's a walk-in closet on the right and here is the ensuite bathroom they use the granite slabs for the shower. Since there is no grout, it will be easier to clean the shower. This courtyard is completely covered. The size of this courtyard is about 19 by 18, so it's pretty good size. And since there are two sets of sliding doors on each side, you can access to either casita or main house. The spiral staircase will lead to the second floor balcony. This house also has a rooftop deck on top. It's about 12 by 17. So when I go upstairs, I'm going to show you the amazing strip view. The main house has a separate doorbell, so there are two doorbells for this property. The first floor has a great open concept. Kitchen, dining, living room areas all connected is one big area that you can decorate. Homeowners did a wonderful job decorating the great room. You can see that they have some photo frames and I love how they have the focal point right in the middle where the TV and fireplace is. There are three sets of sliding doors that you can use to go to the backyard and I'll show you the backyard at the end. We're going to check out the entire house and come back down and check the pool and barbecue area. Waterfall Island with quartz countertops. They use a two different quartz, white for the parameter and the island use the black quartz countertops. Upgraded appliances, built-in fridge, canopy hood, and there is a pot filler as well. If you love cooking, you'll love this feature. Anytime that I need to cook soup, I have to bring my big pot to the sink. But if there is a pot filler, you can just leave the a pot right on top of the stove and just turn on the water. The left of the fridge, there's a laundry room. I'm not going to open every single door since this is a resale home. I do respect the homeowner, so I don't want to open the area that they don't want to show. So if you're curious about the size of the pantry and the laundry room, I'll have the floor plan link down in the description. So you can click it and see all the details about this property. The HOA is 105 per month. There is no master plan fee. There is just one HOA. 
This is not in the master plan community, so you don't really have to worry about the SID, the lid, other assessments. There's a half bathroom right by the stairs. So the first floor has a laundry room, pantry, kitchen, dining, living area, casita, and half bathroom. All the bedrooms where the main house will be located in the second floor. So we'll go check those out. There is a door from the garage. I love how they added some design to the stairs. The second floor has a family room, primary, and two other bedrooms. There is additional stairs go to the third floor. There will be this amazing rooftop deck. We're going to check this floor first and we'll go up there. The primary bedroom is 28 by 21. This is a really big primary. There is a small balcony between the primary bathroom and primary bedroom. This house does not have any neighbors in the back. Pretty much all the properties, except a couple of the homes in the Aurora's Edge, they do not have any neighbors in the back of their home. So you don't really have to worry about somebody looking over your backyard. So if you're looking for more private community, um, try to find the one more nestled into mountainside. Then you'll get way more privacy and you don't have to deal with uh, those homes that are so close together. The second floor balcony also has a some strip view, but when you go um, up to the third floor rooftop deck, you can see the entire strip. I just started using my new camera, so I noticed sometimes the focus is not there. So if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I do want to get some feedback on my new camera. They sealed this balcony and made a special area for their cat. This is ensuite bathroom. Tub, double vanities, separate shower. Shower use a mix of tiles and granite slabs. There are two big windows right by the tub, so I felt like you don't even need to turn on the light during the day. I didn't take the video of the primary closet since the door was closed. I didn't want to show all their personal belongings. I definitely respect when it is a resale home. If it's a new home, I can go through every single portion of the house. But for the resale, I want to be a little bit more careful. I do have a floor plan and I know every single room dimension. So if you have a questions, you can reach out to me directly and I'll answer any questions you have about this property. This room is 12 by 14. There is walk-in closet and also ensuite bathroom. This property has a total of four bedrooms and four full bathrooms. That means everybody's getting their own bathroom, which is great. That's the difference between the older homes and newer homes. Older homes will not match the number of the bedrooms and number of bathrooms, but any newer construction homes, you will see the uh, same number of the bedroom and bathroom. Between second and third bedroom, there is this family area that you can utilize. They're using it as the office right now, but you can have some movie room, also put a pool table. That's a great area for the family. Here is another full bathroom. There's a two doors for this bathroom, one that I'm going in right now, and there's one that connected to the room. The shower also use a granite slabs for the surroundings. This home is the one of the Emerald homes that DR Horton built. Emerald homes were their luxury line and they build uh, wonderful homes throughout the town, but they don't really build them anymore. This is why you don't really see this particular floor plan in other communities.
This room has a sliding door to the balcony. You'll get this mini balcony for yourself. So that's a great feature to have. Let's go to the third floor and check out the rooftop deck. There's a little storage on the left. On the right, there's a clear door to the deck. I personally love the houses with the rooftop deck. When the home is elevated like this, if you don't have this rooftop deck, you're going to miss out the view. So it is always great to add these deck if there's option for it. The building that you see here is the city water station. There is this road in the back of the home. This is the city of Henderson access over the Tresor water loop. So once they are done with it, they're planning to pay for a walking trail, but no car access. You can see the full strip view from this rooftop deck. During the day, it's really hard to see, but at nighttime, I'm pretty sure it'll look amazing. Since this rooftop deck is completely covered, you can utilize this area even during summertime. Best for the last, we're going to go check out the backyard. They have the amazing pool and barbecue area. So we're going to take a look what they have in the backyard. Let me give you a quick look of the kitchen and the great room one more time. And we're going to use one of these sliding doors to go outside. This house has a pretty good sized backyard and also side yard that we saw earlier when we were coming in. There's a built-in barbecue. They also have a TV. Did some great iron work for the space they had. Homeowners did a wonderful job decorating the backyard. And I love how they have the built-in barbecue fire pit and also a nice size pool. The lot size of this home is 6,098. That is a pretty good size. You can see uh, there's enough space for the backyard and also they have a big side yard. Building a pool like this with a built-in barbecue and elevated area will cost close to $150,000 right now. Everything went up so much and doesn't look like they're going to come down anytime soon. So for the buyers who are extremely busy, I do recommend to find a property that already has everything. That's going to save lots of stress and also lots of money. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this amazing home. The listing price of this home is $1,125,000. 3,188 square feet, total of four bedrooms, one loft, and four and a half bathrooms. The lot size of this home is 6,098 square feet. The HOA is 105 per month. If you have any question about this property, Las Vegas Henderson Real Estate, I'm here to answer any questions you have. My name is Erica Lee. I'm a local realtor here in Las Vegas and Henderson. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.